All right, so the other day, a guy came in with a bunch of his brother's stuff and he like was working at a magazine distributor in North Dakota. All new stand. He wanted too much money for the stuff. And I'm just like, oh, bro, I can't give you any money for, you know, uh, Web of Spider-Man number one. But turns out he's got a ton of Secret Wars aids. New stand. So he gave me five in the first buy that I did yesterday. And he really bent me over. I had to give him 500 bucks for the stand, which to me, I'm just not going to pay money for these. But I don't have one in stock and they do sell. So the first one that I uh, looked at <clears throat> is, uh, I don't know, if you were to grade this, I mean, fine, right? Very fine. Garbage with big chop. They go for 75 bucks on eBay. Just Looks beat up. to me. Well, mm. it's got a little cut there and uh, it's kind of dirty. I don't know. It's not great. How perfect can it be? So that one, then I got this one. The next one is slightly better. Only because it doesn't have the cut in it. That'll be like 150 or so. See, they're all, they're all perfect to me. Then we got another one. But then again, I'm a moron. Oh, this one, I don't know. Almost VF, I guess. So, you know. I mean, it looks as good as if you went well, to it could be, see Dick's It could be, ago. somebody could press this. It would look good, right? It's got kind of a weird thing, but it doesn't affect my grade on it. If that know, was my personal copy, I'd be like, look at that. 200 or so. And then we got a slightly better one. This one. I don't know. Another $200 See, one, I guess. It's got, I don't know. I don't like it. But. Well, I mean, how perfect can a periodical be? Well, they printed a lot of these. So, believe it or not, there's a lot of perfect ones. And they're at 9 8, they're not particularly. 500 bucks or whatever. But that in 252. This is nowhere near. This is not even. I mean, you'd be lucky to get a 9.0 on that. Lucky. Yeah, but remember is that people, you know, who only discovered Spider Man 20 years ago. And the best one. That's amazing to them. Here's the best one of the batch. Now, this one's a tough call. This one I got to do some research on, but this one's pretty nice. See, they, you know, they all look perfect. Well, this one's nice. They all look completely perfect. So this one doesn't need a lot of work. So this one would be like uh, what I like to call a raw near mint, whatever that means. So according to Cedar, CGC, near mint's uh, you know 9.0 or whatever, 8.5, 9 you know. And a 9.0, one of these, believe it or not, doesn't sell for shit. 9.0s are uh, well, shit, nine fours are four hundred bucks. So. Well, I mean, it's it's nothing to sneeze at. Smells like secret wars. 300 bucks, I suppose. Um, so, but let me tell you a story about CGC versus most collectors. Most collectors don't collect CGC comics. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't have any. I don't particularly understand the whole fascination with it, especially around a book like this, because, I mean, it's not well, rare. It's the first or second. But it is cooler than hell. Yeah, I mean, it can't. So when he came in, he had them in complete sets, right? And then when he brought in the second batch, he pulled a... And I didn't check to see if the weird Galactus errors were in them or not, but... Okay, so then I also got uh, a couple of turtles. Number one... It's turtle time! I don't know, Whoa. they're like 20 bucks, 30 They're not that expensive. So we, got, so we got the Ultimate Rube book, right? Well, that's the other Black Spider-Man. New stand. Which oh, is first! The beauty of this one is a guide is so wrong on this one. This is just a book people have to have. Believe it or not! I mean, I this got ungradable, barely VF, is like two hundred dollars, and it'll sell tomorrow. It's ridiculous, but look at it. It's great. People love two fifty two. So then, when you combine it with your Secret Wars eight, bro, you've look got what you got, bro. You got you've your got black Moni. costume Spider Man. You've got Moni. It's in Star the bank. Wars and Empire Strikes Back. Bro. Combined. Combined. Look at that. Whoa. Oh my God. Then I got this other. Look at this weird Adam Hughes before he was famous. And he was doing Minnesota cons oh boy, and drawing like pictures for me for free, right? You know, just the fun copy? story. Well, fun story. Back in the day, there was this thing called the Sketchograph, and it was a Marvel Creators Collection and it's Marvel Silver Age '98, and nobody cared. And I was buying cases and just cases. I'm seriously, I broke a thousand boxes of Marvel Creators in one sitting. Okay, one sketch per box. The beauty of Marvel Creators is a bunch of sketches were drawn in pencil. 
So I'd get one of those big ass erasers and erase these shitty sketches, oh. and I'd go bring it to Adam Hughes sitting and, there at his table, and, and I'd say, "Hey, draw, you know, Baroness or whatever." Draw so, Baroness. I must have. There must be. I had Carmine Infantino draw Spider Man versus Superman battle. Anyway, there must be like a hundred sketches I erased. So somewhere, somebody's got some pretty sweet sketches. Hey, anyway, here's Adam Hughes in one of his earliest things. That's very Adam Hughesy, right? Yes. Spider Fam, and as a bonus, no. he did the back too. Bat babe. babe, almost a huntress, but not quite. Not yeah. quite. Unfortunately, he's not inside because you know Adam Cause, Hughes. Because yeah, it's, it's he a... doesn't really go inside. He only does cheesecake covers. It's a particularly terrible comic. But that's okay. This is what. But this is like ten dollars. I don't know. Yeah. And we got that. This Metallo is from Man of Steel. No, oh, that's uh. 1987. This is when uh, yeah. DC decided not to suck. Yeah, that's post crisis. I mean, look at that. It's a beauty. Burn in Austin. John Burn Superman. Oh, this is good stuff. 1987. This is right after Watchmen and Dark Knight Returns. And DC is like, well, we, we did good with the Titans. Let's give John Burn some money. So they went and they retconned this whole thing where yeah. his powers are like more psionically based. And it's good. Damn good. I mean, everyone likes Man of Steel. But it's funny how this kind of looks like that 90s run. I mean, it does. It does. The... The John that, Byrne the DC Austin, look. Austin the inks on a on a hat on kind of a fast John Byrne pencil. Looks like Dan Jurgens. Does that look like Dan Jurgens? Yes, Dan Jurgens yeah. and Mark Bagley. And that's not an insult. Both are, are you know? John Byrne copies, which is not an insult. No, it's. I mean, I I wish I was a John Byrne wannabe. Man, you got the girl with the headband, everything. Look, it's it's a Tom Stransky headband. Yeah. Love you, Just Tom. Just like April O'Neil. Funny thing is, I'm pretty sure Tom Stransky's not watching YouTube videos, bro. It's too cool. Well, it's and too old. look at this gem, bro. It's too old. Saved by the Photo ball. Photo cover, bro. Oh! Man. A now that. Poor screech. Now, Tiffany Amber Thiessen to this day. A babe. Yeah. But, again, the inside of this is, well, I guess it's not that terrible. Zach! I used to go with Kelly. Isn't she beautiful? What do you mean? used to go with still is i think so it says high school what year is this 1992 1992. you know what i don't know if they were getting laid as much as you think they did not have sex on that show of course i was not in high school in 92 i was married that that, that show (laughs) they did not and i am still married they kept it light on that show no 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 sex no well i only watched clips here and there as a youth as a child and i don't know if this comic is inspiring me to watch more of the is it? You buy an HD now. It's why you can watch it all in HD. Do you know what Screech's last name is? I just found Justin out. Diamond. Yeah. It's, no, his real. His oh, his real name. His, his character's name. Something like what Horowitz? Or powers. Something? How powers? Screech Powers. So his name is Zach he's got the Morris. Power of Kelly Kapowski. So she's probably a like a Russian Polish yeah, Jew, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. AC Slater. AC Slater. Years later, they would regret the AC due, well, to, the, due to the Bronco thing, right? Well, yeah. Lisa Turtle. Her last Lisa name is Turtle. Turtle. Well, it's Turtle time. Jesse Spano and Jesse Screech Spano Powers. Jesse Spano and Screech oh, Powers. Oh, boy. Terrible, Licensed comics. Terrible comic. Just awful. Well, you know. Just awful. But probably 10 bucks, I know. That, oh, no. A, Dark Empire. Well, these are cool because uh, these Dark Horse ones have a lot of... Uh, stuff in them that Ideas. Marvel will steal from these, I would imagine. I mean, they right? already made the whole The Emperor Comes Back to do it again This plot. one's pretty good, though. Oh, yeah. This one's got some good art in it. The drawings in, it's in got a Empire's Thrawn in type Sith guy, Palpatine. That's, yeah, oh. he's back. He so looks maybe like, this uh, is the story of how he came back. I don't know. It is, it is. Somehow, he he's back. Changed. Somehow. Fuck off. Well, there's no new ideas under the sun. Especially not in fairy this tales. Looks good. This is a really cool Luke, Han Solo wastes him at the end. Those carbon slabs have Shoots no controls. How do you plan to unfreeze them? That's our secret, Skywalker. All right, shit. Oh, then who, everyone's oh. favorite werewolf Jedi guy. Black Slim Rack. Now, there's an action figure where he has a lightsaber. So yes. Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, that is, I think, his son or his like uh, nephew. It's not him specifically. I assume he's not a werewolf. But, no, uh, but he, well, he's, he's racially a werewolf. He's of the werewolf people. He uh, yes, they, identifies as werewolf. Yes, he identifies as. I forget his his proper werewolf cool. name, but uh, you know whatever, dude. You know, no is, judgment, uh, bro. No, well, you know, it's okay. Rick Baker. Howl at the moon. Me. This one. As the needle. This one's okay too. You know, in some ways, this art back then is a lot better than today's art. 
Well, because it's not people just, you know, light box faking it from screenshots of the Blu ray. Looks like these older guys kind of knew how to write a story also, they or were, something. Could be the writers. They had too, to make a know. compelling story based on ancillary Star Wars characters. They don't do that now. They'll just tell you, like, the made up story about how, you know, this Dr. Brett Aphra Blevins, got by Emperor Looks like Brett Blevins. He did the whole thing. Let's see. Brett but, I mean, Blevins and Bruce Jones. Oh, man, it's a good the, combination. The key to all those is Dave Dorman and Tim Bradstreet made good covers and brainwashed people. Bruce Jones had a crazy run for Pacific Comics. All right. Oh, no, no, aforementioned. Now, that cover is something else, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Now, I hate to break it to you, though, folks. But working. once you open it up, you're like, oh, God. Good. Greg LaRock and Greg Jim Mooney. Okay. Now, Mooney's an okay penciler. But, you know, this is kind of like the beginning of the suit. Screw him, a Spider Man. There's a, there's a panel over. Vince Coletta would love to talk about. It's a wonderful movie. I swear to God, there's Vince man. Coletta there. That's that's Vince Coletta right it's there. possible. There's no doubt. That's Vince Coletta. There's still his ear. Maybe they just, like, couldn't hire Vince anymore, so. They had a union dispute. They had to use a fake name. That's Mooney. I swear to God, that was Vince Coletta. They gave him a bad page and said, Hey, Vince, what are you doing? We need you to fix up these panels. Well, Jim's running a little late. Yeah, terrible. Okay, and the most overpriced. That's number time. one. First again, time they again, brought her back. Again. You know, I the still Phoenix. remember not hating this comic, but uh, when it came out, I don't know. I don't know. And this, Rob Liefeld's the new news. Newsstand. Is that the one where Deadpool appears first? No, he's in '98. Uh, which one? I is told. That? I told the guy. Got any '98s? Well, yeah, I doubt it. But you know, that's not terrible. I mean, it's very iconic. And it's got Domino. I think that's the real Domino, Domino right? Heart. Or is that the fake yep. Domino? I don't know. Well, I don't Domino. know. So we start off with some sweet Liefeld action. Bro, look at those. F oh, man. Those feet are just not good. Yeah, but like, I draw feet worse. Are you getting paid to do comics? No, no, oh, no oh. not currently. Well, you can draw feet however not, you would like, currently. sir. But like... Uh, and there's Domino! Domino and Launch or uh, Shatterstar. Well, don't be hitting on Shatterstar, bro. I know something you don't know. The thing about Rob Field's, Rob Liefeld's feet is I think they're like action figure feet. They're not like human feet. Right. Hey, dude. Then we got this Feral. I think that's her name. She's just. She's, but that's okay because it's not Wolf Spain. It's Feral. Don't get excited. It's a different. Yeah, it's a different character. Oh, this is just awful. It was the era in which I grew up. Uh, I treasure it so. Oh, then Shatterstar kills that guy. A lot of kills. Are you crazy, says Cable? Yeah, I'm crazy. Uh, and then this comic, they didn't cancel it because it wasn't selling. They canceled it so they could go to X-Force number one and break the record. The most valuable comic of all time. It isn't. It's not? It is the most third most commonly printed Oh, my one. goodness. But they still sell for like five bucks. They're so valuable. You got the one with the Deadpool card in it. It's bro. sealed. It's sealed still. It's dead shit. It's rated, very bro. rare. It's very rare. People should have CGC grade their seal. Oh, but then the, the plot one. twist is the guy is really Cable. All along, Cable is really. Maybe it's future. like an alternate future. Well, I mean, we have to assume the future Cable comes from uh, did not happen, as you know, it was 40 years ago. We got that. I don't know. Silver Surfing. What a guy. It's got Gamora on the cover. Gamora, Gamora, She's got her, Gamora. Uh, her cool costume on. Her loincloth. Ooh, that looks pretty tasty. Jim Starlet and Terry Austin. Terry Austin makes everything better. Oh, look at that. Adam Warlock versus oh, Mephisto. No, know. And then they got this weird orb where they're all captured. Oh, my. Let's take a look at this book. This book's like five bucks. Maybe four bucks, but it's worth every penny. It's got a soul gem battle. The soul gem. It's got somebody's trap inside the soul gem. Could it be Shallow Ball? I doubt it. A surfer in this? Oh, I bet you it is Shallow Ball. She's always getting this. Can't lose bro. Oh, Surfer just can't move. But the Destroyer. The then Destroyer. smash these rock eggs. The Destroyer can smash anything. Okay. They got out. They combined all their energies and got out. That's always good. How very Fantastic Four like. The yeah. power. If we all work friendship. together, we can beat this. We can achieve greatness. Oh, but now we're inside Mephisto's mind. What horrible things does Mephisto think about? I don't know. Mephisto always loses. Mm. Oh, but then there's a He's bigger guy, won. dude. 
That's Seaton, obviously. Is it I'm in charge of you? I don't know, but here comes Surfer, bro. Oh, he got it! He got what? But something happened when he got it. Some other monster came out of nowhere, bro. Boy, this is uh, this is going nowhere, ain't it? But then, tip the jewel. Give me the jewel, bro. Before, oh my God, we got that going on, bro. I can't wait to get to the end here. It's gonna be fun. Oh, then Mephisto admits that Warlock beat him, right? Curses foiled yet again. They're all hanging out, smoking a cig, bro. Oh, he blasts Drax out of the way. He looks hypnotized or something. Uh oh. Surfer versus Warlock. I mean, he is Jesus Christ after all. In, so. in the amount. I, mm. I don't know. Oh, look, they get there. to live happily ever after him and Shala Ball. If only. Oh, they're going to make out. If bro. only. Um, does he have genitals? They're silver. One last kiss. I, I, think, I think Galactus took him. You will never know love, Norin Ran. And he he flies away as an incel. Has to. If Actually, Pat, well, that's you... involuntary cell. What is voluntary? Yeah, but, a V cell? Here, superheroes are sort of all cells because you got turned right. down to trim. Well, if you look, they're all Did hanging you... out with Gamora. I don't know. Well, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep all women's at an arm's that's length because you gotta do hero stuff. Oh, look at that beautiful Hellstrom series with with my gal. Long gone, long gone ago oh, with Morgan Le Fay. No, that's uh, someone else. Satana not... or whatever no, her name I is. I got her mixed up with She's Morgan awesome. Le Fay. I think that's his sister. She's the daughter of Satan. He's the, the daughter son of, Satan. of Satan. And a couple of these. These for a minute were ten bucks. I don't. I don't even. I don't even think they're five bucks anymore. But it's a pretty good Flash series. Pretty good. I don't know. It's got some Teen Titans porn in it. Is I don't it post Crisis. Know. Post Crisis Flash. Yeah. No. June oh, of '87. Yeah, yeah. After '86. Yes. Yes. Because yes, this is Wally West. People this is forget, Wally West's first Flash people title. People forget so, that yeah. Wally West is the yeah. Flash for like 30 I, I years. Don't believe this is Barry Allen. And the New 52 erased Wally West. I haven't West. seen him with his, with his thing off. Yeah, it's Wally West. That's Wally West. People bro. forget Wally West exists. Yeah, Wally's a good guy. He's been bumped back to Kid Flash. Yeah, Flash, Flash was fake killed. That's yeah. right. Well, for fake killed. A long time. And then we got Dead Clown number one, but don't get excited. I'm giving this away to a good customer who collects no, stupid it's, clown cars. Kind of, so. like I didn't shit. look it up, but I have never seen one before. It looks Malibu just. Malibu. It's cars. Malibu, bro. You yeah. know, there was a, for a minute a bunch of idiots who collect Malibu cars. Yeah, I know. Then Man, we got epic. first Jason Todd. First Jason Todd. Whoa! And then the rest are crappy Batmans. Right, Kelly three, Jones. Three bucks. They're common as hell, but people like them. So whatever. Three bucks. You got a number six, six, six. Five bucks. Kind of a rip off of a EC or a Warren cover, I believe. And we got a three dollars. You got a three dollar one. Look at that. Whoa. He's like, if Rob Liefeld could draw, it would look like that. And Bertie writes a combi combined. Breaking Batman's real. Here's a 1983. Uh, classic it's a little beat up but man it's got a great story look at that black girl black girl black girl. girl and we got two shiny number 500 500. you know in cgc 96 they sell for 50 dollars i think Whoa. i like five dollars okay yeah it's more like it it's more kelly jones look at that beauty oh no Man. The night has fallen. He had just broken his back. I have broken the back. You could tell because he's all jacked up. He's at full venom. venom. Yeah. He's got Catwoman. He's going to do it to her. There's a sweet Joker Scarecrow cover. And we got a old school 1979 detective. This is when uh, the, there was a paper shortage. And DC had this great idea to raise all their comics to a dollar and make them 100 pages. They should do or that Or 68 again. pages. They, they didn't sell. Do no, they should do These are again. rare. But no one cares because the art is terrible. But there is a super awful Steve Dicko demon story in this one. The demon! Let's look at it. Etrigan! Let's look at is it. Is it Etrigan the demon? It is. It, it is. It's, it's just wonderfully awful. It's like Ditko at his most hacky, I won't even work for Charlton. But let's take a look. Don Newton. Oh, it starts out strong. Look at that. He died before anybody could care. And then we got... This guy, the human target. The human target! Dickie G, slumming. Normally he's inker, but this he's penciler. 
And we got a terrible Batgirl story. Vince Coletta! Man, every comic I look at's got Vince Coletta in it. Now, nah, what happened? I should just go and start a Vince Coletta death cult. The death cult against Vince Coletta. Then we got Kurt Schaffenberger. The boomers like that guy. I know. Okay. He's so happy and lame. But that, the main event, the demon. Very, uh, Dr. Strangey. Well, that's what they're going for, I think. Except oh, he rhymes. My. He rhymes. Oh, my. He's always trapped in some sort of frickin' crystal spell. I don't know. But then he gets out. Gone, gone, the form of man. Rise, the demon at a grand. He rhymes. And there he is. He's always rhyming, that guy. He's a demon with the rhymes. We got some classic Ditko Frankenstein villager type people. Pitchforks, to too? Nature. They got Boy, their pitchforks Ditko, out. You're, you should draw pitchforks better, bro. He was just too objective to draw pitchforks right. Oh, my God. Somebody owns the original art to this, and they don't even know. I think when Ditko died... The rumor is he had a stack of a thousand pages in his little uh, apartment in New York, his townhouse. I don't know who's got these. Robin Snyder's probably got them. I don't know. Somebody's got a lot of this artwork. Oh, wow. Look at that. Somebody watched Carrie. He's back. This is right around the time when Carrie was on TV yeah. for the first time. I think, yeah. Comics love to steal shit. And that's the ending to Carrie throughout. And his name is Baron Time. What a stupid... Baron Von Time. Then we ended on an anonymous John Callahan, Frank McLaughlin, unsolved case of Batman. Bro. Well, it's Detective Comics. Well, it's about Detective Did he solve work. it, though? He well, solved he, it good. Did he solve it? He solved it. I think he solved it. Batman always solved it. Oh, and the best part is the back cover. The back cover. The back cover. Should have oh, been the front no. cover. Yeah, it would have. Well, they, they both have strong statements to make. What a beautiful cover. It's the whole rogues gallery. Man. Okay, so that was that. That was fun. All right, so no more side. We got some crappy 1992 Batman number ones, two dollars. I say it's very valuable. We got first Tim Drake as Robin. The, he was the first of the Robins to come out of the closet, right? He's the bisexual first. or whatever. So whenever Dixon whenever DC, that. Ty Warner, decides to write the story we're all been waiting for, Superman's kid and ba and Tim Drake Robin have a romantic and affair and boy. kiss or boy, whatever, this will be $50 the Super Sons. for five minutes. So, I don't know. Spend $10. $500. No, $50. $50. 5000 No. $500,000. It's very common. All right. So, the web of Spider-Man number one, 35 bucks seems cheap, but... I don't know. I can't really leave the lead price more than 30 I had it at 50 but I'm like, nah. Should be 350 You got X-Factor number one, newsstand, 10 bucks, perfect shape. Should be 100 First X-Force and Shatterstar, 10 bucks. Should be way more. Newsstand, there's none of these on eBay, so I went 5 bucks. It's kind of rare. We got the two Wally West newsstands. Wally West. One's nice, 20 mm. <laughs> Nine, eight sold for 200 I don't know. And then five dollars, because yeah. then the dead clown comic. Dead clown. Ninety-nine cents. Here are the two turtles. One's a hundred. It's really nice, and the other one needs to be pressed, and it'll be nice. But thirty and a hundred. This one's like beautiful. They're like four hundred dollars in high well, grade. It, it is uh, turtle time. Graded by CGC. It is turtle time. But if you're grading um, Archie Turtles comics and making profits on it, you can go to hell. Wow. Well, you yeah. can go to hell. Yeah. Here's that $10 Adam Hughes. Now, I thought this was incomplete because it didn't have the cards in it. Turns out the newsstand variant doesn't okay. have the cards in it. And this no. is a newsstand. So. We win again. And this is surprisingly 10 bucks all day. It's a beauty. This, 5 bucks. Why not? Yeah. It'll probably sit in my box for 10 years. It'll so, sell immediately. Nah. I think 10 years from now, it'll still be in my box. Empire's End, 10 bucks, new stand. Not a lot of these on the internet. It's probably... Because all the Star Wars fans set them all on fire One-tenth one of the print run is probably new stand. 
because the Dark Horse is the other way. They sold mostly yeah, in comic stores. Very little. Five right, bucks just has got a cool werewolf cover. Waxy All right, here we go. The big one. I went 200 on that one. Now, if you were to put a CGC grade on this, 8.5 maybe. So, mm, one more. Well, I don't know. It's got some stains on it. Might even only be an 8 all, but I don't care. Look at it. Oh, okay. I see it. And then Perfect. together, like I said. Ooh. Together! All right, so the five Secret Wars 8s. We got this one with the cut in it. It's like decent. 100 and a quarter. This one's slightly better. 150. Another slightly 150. This one's like uh, almost near mint. 200. And this one, surprisingly, $300. I say they're all equally the same. They can all be 300 So, yeah, I gave the guy 500 bucks. I don't, I'm going to have to discount this to people when they buy it. Like, the first guy that says, I'll give you 200 cash, I'll probably take it because mm -hmm. I'm a whore. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, I guess at the end of the day, it was an okay deal. Bye.